Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's video, we are going to discuss the most advanced ballistic missile that is MIRV or Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle. As we all know that the ballistic missiles are most lethal weapon of any military arsenal. They are meant for destruction. They can carry a nuclear warhead, can have a range up to 5000 plus km and can travel at a speed less than Mark 5. However, due to technological advancements, these missiles can be intercepted with anti-ballistic missiles such as Prithvi missiles. The ballistic missiles are easy to intercept because they have single warhead which can be tracked down using satellites and better radars. But MIRVs are different. They are multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. They carry multiple warheads which can hit multiple targets with a single launch of missile. Each warhead can have different targets and work independently. Presently, China, Russia, United Kingdom, United States, France and India are currently confirmed to possess functional MIRV missile system. However, Israel is suspected to possess or may be in process of developing MIRVs. Talking about Pakistan, Pakistan is also developing MIRV missile. Now talking about India's MIRV missile status, India have Agni Prime missile which is under trial and tested with two warheads on June 2021. India also have Agni 5 missiles with MIRV capabilities, however, its existing ability is confidential. Apart from Agni 5 and Agni Prime, India is working on K5, K6 and Surya missiles which are under development phase. Now talking about MIRV's operating procedure, you can see a launch sequence of Minuteman 3 MIRV. You can see total 8 stages. In stage 1, missile is launched out of its silo by firing its first stage boost motor A. In stage 2, about 60 seconds after the launch, the first stage drop off and second stage motor B ignites. Also the missile shroud or covering E is ejected. In step 3, about 120 seconds after the launch, the third stage motor C ignites and separates from the second stage motor B. In step 4, about 180 seconds after the launch, the third stage thrust terminates and post boost vehicle D separates from the rocket. In stage 5, the post boost vehicle maneuvers itself and prepares for re entry vehicle deployment. In step 6, the post boost vehicle backs away. The re-entry vehicles, decoys and chaff is deployed and this may occur during the rise. In step 7, the re-entry vehicle and chaff re-enter the atmosphere at a high speed and are armed in flight. In step 8, the nuclear warhead detonate either as air burst or ground burst. In whole process, missile does not attain escape velocity. So MIRV carries multiple warhead with dummy warhead to confuse anti-ballistic missile defense system. Also, every warhead has release decoys to confuse interception device and radars such as aluminized balloons or electronic noise maker which forms cloud around the missile. Due to all these factors, MIRVs are very difficult to track down or to be intercepted by any enemy defense system. Look at the video for better understanding of mode of operation of MIRVs. Shroud or cover getting removed from the warhead. Here you can see multiple warheads. The red one is dummy warhead. The red one is dummy warhead to confuse the enemy air defense system. MIRB releases two warheads at the same time. One is real and one is dummy.
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your view about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions on any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our channel if you have not done already. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.